We're here at the Arlington Theater where Paul Giamatti is being honored with the Cinema Vanguard Award. I'm Arthur Bonifield. I'm Nathan Vincent. And I'm Jules Steelsmith. And we're DP News. Uh, do you have anything to say to the students of Dos Pueblos about the industry or what goes into making the film festival? Um, I think that if you're passionate about it, do anything you can to follow your dream. And um, um, do production work down in Los Angeles. Um, yeah, just keep at it. Just keep at it. Is there any piece of advice that you would give to an aspiring young filmmaker like myself? Um, I think uh, never to be scared. Uh, we're always scared, but I think uh, always... Um, I have no advice to give, but I think you always have to try things and do things that have a sense to you. And, uh, and just do things. Like sometimes we, we are scared and, and we, we don't do things, you block ourselves. And I think nothing is very important, just do. Just, just try and just do and work and have fun. And, and I think the most important thing in life generally is to trust yourself. Uh, speaking of fun, what makes filmmaking so fun for you? I never get bored doing this. I mean, it's, it's, it's never the same thing. It's always different. And um, it's, it's, it's so, I like so much life and saying stories and, and, and observing everything. I mean, when I walk on the street, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy to be alive and to have all those possibilities. And saying stories, it's, it's sharing things with other people. And I, lo I love that, I mean. I think you really have to have determination, number one, but the most important thing I could possibly say is understanding that failure is part of the process and getting very familiar and very comfortable with things not working out the way you want them to and after that fact being able to adjust, staying positive and keeping to your pursuits. Is there anything, is there any piece of advice that you would give uh, a young student who wants to become a filmmaker one day? Yeah, make films. Uh, make them because uh, that was, that's those mistakes and those uh, moments when you feel that you connected with the audience. That's what that's what's going to teach you how to be a good filmmaker. Uh, is there are there any words of wisdom you would share to your younger self when you were in high school about getting into the film industry? Oh, about being in the film industry. <laughs> <laughs> I might have warned myself about how much or how hard it's going to be, and not to be foolish, and uh, and and I would have warned myself about that. I think I would have just told myself in general to just try and you know, not worry so much about things in general. But yeah. Uh, so, it's really hard when learning to make films and getting into the film industry to face criticism and face criticism of your work. Yeah. How do you deal with that? That's a really good question, and it's a hard thing because you have to be a very sort of empathetic person and you have to have a thick skin. And it's like, I don't know, I think you just have to keep your eye on the ball and just keep working and focus on the work and try to shut out all the other noise. It's very hard. You just kind of get used to it and, you know, you, you just have to keep persevering and try to keep working. Uh, could you say, uh, this is DP News and it starts now to the camera? This is DP News and it starts now. Thank you very much. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We had a great night tonight. We got to interview Roger Derling, executive director of SBIFF, and Paul Giamatti from The Holdovers. Uh, I'm Arthur Bonifield. I'm Nathan Vincent. And I'm Jules Steelsmith. And thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.